Hey, what's up guys? Coach Alec here. I'm going to go over with you today the Box of Destiny. This isn't my invention. I've gotten this from and I'm going to use it from iLead. But it's a great visualization, visual tool here that we can use to understand what it is to achieve our goals, how compounding interest affects us from our day to day and how it adds up over the next year. And what it means if we are going to actually hit our goals, all right? What the 80-20 rule actually means on a scale. So let's say we have our wants, we have our needs, we have our frustrations, and we have the things that we fear. I've already gotten them written up here to save us a little bit of time, but most of us, what we actually want, most of our goals is weight loss, but we wanna be chiseled Chad. We wanna be shredded Sheila. We wanna live the lifestyle. We wanna have the abs. We wanna be the person that lights up the room. We wanna be the energy. We wanna be able to be there for our kids. We wanna be able to be healthy. That's what we aspire to be, all right? That's what we want, all right? What we need, what we actually need is lower blood pressure, less visceral fat, the fat around our organs, and lower lipids. Things like on our actual health scales and what the doctor's concerned with. We want to be healthier. We want to be there for our kids. And we're frustrated because right now we have joint pain. We have clothes that don't fit us. And every week it seems like something else just doesn't fit. And then of course, we're just never eating. We're, we feel like we're always dieting and not gaining any results. We're always spinning our wheels. And what we really fear, we're frustrated right now, but what we really fear is obesity. Maybe we're overweight, but we don't wanna become obese. Maybe we fear type two diabetes. And ultimately it all leads to we fear death. We don't wanna die early. We don't wanna die a painful death. We wanna die on our own terms and we want more power within ourselves. Here we've got a scale though, and we can place all these different points and that's why I've got them color coded here so that we can see how they're going to play out over the next three, six, nine, 12 months, all right? And of course this arrow goes on, but we're gonna play over the next year. And we have a midpoint here, all right? This is us hitting our goals up at the top and this is getting hit by our goals, all right? Getting crushed by them. But we'll start with what we want. All right, let's say what we want, we're showing up to the gym six days a week. We're on point, we're meal prepping, we're able to actually just follow our plan. We're not slacking, we're saying no to going out and alcohol, we're staying abstinent. We're doing everything it takes. And what that's gonna look like on a scale is something like this, all right? Not very much progress over that first three months is what it is. We got things to clean up, but you're being perfect. You're doing all the work. And over that next 12 months, at that 12 month mark, you can see huge gap. That's you being perfect. Let's say that's you being 90% to 100% committed. All right, 90 to 100% committed there. But what we actually need, what we need in our lives, like we said, we just want lower blood pressure. We want less visceral fat. We want to be healthier. Maybe we still go out with our friends. We all start at the same point, but we still go out with our friends. Maybe we want to have a couple beers a week, but we're still consistent. We're going to the gym. We've cleaned up our diet. We're getting more protein. We're doing the things that we should be finally. All right. It's not a hundred percent, but we're there. All right. It's let's say we're at four out of the seven days rather than three out of the seven days. Perfect. We still are going along that three months. We're not perfect. We're going out a couple times. We have birthday parties. We get to go out and enjoy ourselves. And look at that at the 12 month mark, we are still in a positive place. Of course, at that three month mark, it doesn't look very different from being perfect. Honestly, it doesn't look very different from being perfect. And that six month mark, it might look a little different, but it really widens once you start getting into that year mark, once you start being able to see the compounding interest of the daily efforts that you put in. Let's say we're being 80% consistent there. Sounds good there? That's the 80-20 rule. That's what most people talk of when you can have your cake and eat it too. But let's say where we're at right now, you don't do anything. We, you watch this video, you just don't change, you don't change what you wanna do. You are still dealing with joint pain. You don't do any stretching. You don't go and sign up at a gym. You don't start tracking your nutrition and you just really don't start getting the protein that you have. You need to get in to grow the muscle and sustain your fuel for the body. We still start at the same point, but this time, it doesn't look much different as you go along at that three month mark as it does 
between that 80% consistent and doing nothing. Maybe we're still in a place where it really doesn't matter, we're feeling good, but over the next 12 months, you're on the same trajectory, just inverted and flipped on its head. Now, rather than being in a place where you are in a positive state, where you've still had your weekends, you have been doing the same things, continuing to be frustrated, but you don't get to stay where you're at right now. You actually end up in a place worse off than before. But let's say you watch this video, you say, fuck you, Alec, I'm not gonna listen to anything you say. I'm going drinking every weekend. I've got weddings coming up. I've got Thanksgiving coming up. I've got the holidays and the New Year's. I'm not even gonna do anything on January 1st. Perfect, cool. Let me show you what that looks like. You're still here. Still the same as someone that would be doing it 100%. And honestly, at three months, it doesn't look that much different. We only got a little bit of a gap there. It's not that much of a big deal. But over the next year, again, that compounding interest is going to add up. We're gonna end up in a place where, oh crap, we are downhill, we're unhealthy, we're obese, we have type two diabetes and we're on death's door. Let's say at this red line here, let's say we're dealing at 70%. All right, we're dealing 70%, we're not at the 80-20 rule. And let's say this line right here, it's like 50 to 60% of our time is spent. Maybe you're still going to the gym once a week, but it's definitely not enough to add up to where you want to be. You're not gonna be chiseled Chad, you're not gonna be shredded Sheila, your, your blood pressure is not gonna lower, but we all start at the same place, all right? So the difference between you hitting your goals and you getting hit by your goals is simply these daily actions. It's nothing spectacular. It's nothing that you have to do, really, anything that's superhuman. It's just some daily system, daily habits. Think of it as just being able to put on your shoes to go for a walk. Just being able to set out an apple on the counter so that you have the opportunity to eat it, right? You want to be the person that you aspire to be got these things that you need to achieve no matter what because we got to get you healthier you're frustrated right now so we've got to get you out of that and of course we all fear we all have something that we're running from and uh, most of us are running from death bleeds into a little bit of my philosophy background we all have a fear of death this has helped if this has helped you understand a little bit more about what it takes to achieve your goals or what it's going to look like over the next 12 months with your compounding interest and the, the actions you take give me a like Share us with a friend. Be sure to like and subscribe. Save this for later. Send it to a friend, like I said. And if you have any more questions, reach out, comment below, and I'll talk to you soon.